For over 50 years, UNICEF has been working in close collaboration with the government of the Gambia and local partners to protect and fulfill the rights of children across the country. The Gambia has made significant progress towards ensuring that children have access to their rights and the basic services they need to thrive. The provision of these services come against a backdrop of striking inequalities with large gaps in access and quality of services between rural and urban communities. The child is not a sector. Uh, it's not that health will come and do something or education comes and does something. It is uh, an integrated whole and therefore to help that child, to fulfill the rights of that child, we have to bring all the different programs together and have an integrated approach. The Central River and Upper River regions of the country record the poorest social indicators, especially for children and women. Therefore, there has been a strategic focus in these two regions with a view to closing the equity gap between the more privileged and the most vulnerable. We have kids that are moderately malnourished and we have kids that are severely malnourished. And this program is purposely targeting those kids that are severely malnourished. The country has seen a commendable reduction in under 5 mortality rates from 109 deaths for every 1,000 births in 2010 to 54 for 1,000 births in 2013. This is largely due to targeted response systems addressing malnutrition and other preventable childhood illnesses even in the most remote parts of the country. Some of those kids, you definitely know that without this program, they would have, you know, it would have been otherwise. But because of the program, we were able to pick them up, you know, register them in the program, and then make those follow-ups to make sure they have what, what they needed at that moment to be rescued from going, you know, otherwise. <laughs> With healthy growth, children eventually leave their homes to gain knowledge in school and other institutions of learning. UNICEF promotes early learning, mental stimulation and holistic cognitive development through the Global Early Childhood Development Program ECD, reaching children below the age of five. It will motivate them how they will come to school, one. And when they reach at the class also, they will motivate them how to write and how to say something. UNICEF has helped us so many teaching materials. Examples, we have uh, these crayons, pencils and uh, razors and books where ECD can use. And these playing things also like football and this toy. The ECD program, which provides preschool activities to poor and hard to reach children, helps to ensure they're ready for school and that the technical capacity is in place for children to fully benefit. UNICEF works with the government and other partners to provide integrated services that deliver multiple results for children. For children to excel, they require easy access to services including clean water, sanitation and hygiene for their use. The Water, Sanitation and Hygiene program supports schools and communities to improve access to safe toilets as well as clean drinking water. We support schools to assess their water supply quality you know, and see whether it's contaminated. And then if we found that there are contamination in the water systems, we chlorinate them and improve the water quality. With the coming of the toilets that UNICEF has dug for the school, had come at a very, 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 very crucial time and it was needed the most because without sanitation, you cannot call the school a school. Ensuring the fulfillment of the rights of all children means protecting them from all harm. The prevalence of harmful traditional practices like female genital mutilation and child marriages in the Gambia was a cause for great concern. More than 76% of women aged 15 to 49 in the Gambia have undergone FGMC. The figures are even higher in the rural areas, especially in communities in the central and upper river regions. Reversing these trends requires education on the harmful consequences of these practices, especially on the lives of girls and women. The Community Empowerment Program implemented by TUSTAN, the government of the Gambia and UNICEF, seeks to fulfill this need and bridge the awareness gaps. <laughs> 
Knowledge gained from this program has influenced communities to voluntarily abandon these practices. Beneficiaries like Nyaming have proven to be powerful agents of change, ensuring the protection of girls and women in her community of Sotumasire from these practices. Mariama and Binta come from the same family in the Upper River region where the prevalence rate for FGMC stands at 99%. After completing the sixth grade, they were forced to drop out of school due to financial reasons. Knowing that they, our parents allowed us to go back to school, we've continued from grade 7, and then now we are in grade 11. Since Tostan came, we stopped early marriage, we stopped this, yes, FDM, we stopped everything. Their community engagement is now backed with a laudable initiative of the Gambian government to introduce legislation against FGM and child marriage. For 70 years, there has been one focus, ensuring the respect and fulfillment of the rights of all children. Through its interventions, UNICEF is helping to provide a fair chance for children to excel. Globally, there is a greater opportunity to access quality health care, nutrition, education, protection from all harm, and safe spaces to thrive. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a teacher. Working with UNICEF has been a deeply rewarding and enriching experience. I feel like I have been able to break out of my comfort zone and challenge myself. The work we're doing is definitely contributing to the lives of people and making a difference. When we work together to deliver results for every child in the Gambia, dreams will turn to reality.